Our hymn is number 193. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. O Jesus, you unsanctified, a past of forty days complete, to give us courage to perform the penance fallen nature needs. Be present to your church that mourns with sorrow over past excess and tries to make by fervent prayer atonement for the sins of men. By your great mercies, love and grace, forgive our straying in the past. O sinless Christ against all sin, in future keep us on our guard. That purified by Lenten past and abnegation of our wills, we may prepare to celebrate the paschal joys of risen life. Let all creation worship you, O blessed forgiving Trinity, and we by pardon born anew shall sing a new song to the I guarded them, and not one of them is lost. I lift up my eyes to the mountains, from where shall come my help? My help shall come from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. May he never allow you to stumble. <coughs> Let him sleep not your guard. No, he sleeps not nor slumbers, Israel's God. The Lord is your God and your shield, at your right side he stands. By day the sun shall not smite you, nor the moon in the night. The Lord will guard you from evil, he will guard your soul. The Lord will guard your going and coming, both now and forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. I guarded them, and not one of them is lost. Humble yourself before the Lord, and He will exalt you. To you I have lifted up my eyes, you who dwell in the heavens. My eyes like the eyes of slaves on the hand of their Lord. 
Lightly eyes of a servant on the hand of her mistress. So our eyes are on the Lord our God, till he show us his mercy. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. We are filled with content. Indeed, all too full is our soul, with the scorn of the rich, with the proud man's despair. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Humble yourselves before the Lord, and he will exalt you. From his presence, earth and sky fled away. God is for us our refuge and strength. A helper close at hand in time of distress. So we shall not fear, though the earth should rock, though the mountains fall into the depths of the sea, even though its waters rage and foam, even though the mountains be shaken by its waves. The Lord of hosts is with us, the God of Jacob is our stronghold. The waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within, it cannot be shaken. God will help it at the dawning of the day. Nations are in tumult, kingdoms are shaken. He lifts his voice, the earth rings away. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Come, consider the works of the Lord, the redoubtable deeds he has done on the earth. He puts an end to wars over all the earth. The bow he breaks, the spear he snaps. He burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God. <coughs> supreme among the nations, supreme on the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. From his presence, servant skies bless. We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty. We praise you, the Lord God Almighty, who is and who was. You have assumed your great power. You have begun your reign. The nations have raged in anger, but then came your day of wrath and a moment to judge the dead. The time to reward your servants, the prophets, and the holy ones who revere you, the great and the small alike. Now have salvation and power come, the reign of our God and the authority of his anointed one. For the accuser of our brothers is cast out, who night and day accused them before God. They defeated him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony. 
Love for life did not deter them from death. So rejoice, you heavens, and you that dwell therein. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty. From the letter to the Hebrews. Jesus died outside the gate to sanctify the people by his own blood. Let us go to him outside the camp, bearing the insult which he bore. For here we have no lasting city. We are seeking one which is to come. Through him, let us continually offer God a sacrifice of praise, that is the fruit of lips which acknowledge his name. Oh. Uh. 
Christ the Lord gave us a new commandment of love for each other. Let us pray to him. Good Master, teach us to love you in our neighbor and in serving them to serve you. On the cross you ask pardon for your executioners. Give us strength to love our enemies and to pray for those who persecute us. Through the mystery of your body and blood, deepen our love, our perseverance, and our trust. Strengthen the weak, console the sorrowful, and give hope to the dying. Light of the world, you gave sight to the man born blind when he had washed in the pool of Siloam. Enlightened catechumens through the water of baptism and the word of life. Pray for Father Nathan, for Scott, for his healing. For my mom on her birthday. For Gildo de Sub Benefacto, brothers in the theme who died this night. For Agni, the designer of the website, for the RCH, for her health, her healing, for her family situation, and then for Larry in, in his work for the website. For Sharon Nathan and Harry Jenkins, for Roy Benefactors, and for Mary. For my family, for Sharon and Todd Sagan, and for my grandkids and my husband. For Bree and Regina, for Mary and Susan Nathan, and graduation, and for Brandy, for Shannon and her son, John, and Dana, her husband, I pray for Josh, for both of them, I pray for um, Dana, God to use their extra lives for a million that it be for Dana, and all the moms to pray with them. For Maggie and Ryan. Give to the dead the perfect joy of your eternal love, and number us also among your chosen ones. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Be near, O Lord, to those who plead before you, and look kindly on those who place their hope in your mercy, that, cleansed from the stain of their sin, they may persevere in holy living and be made full heirs of your promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. 
ideology of much of anything. In 1914 in Lebanon, Blessed Rebecca Arias, beatified by Pope John Paul II in 1985, Sister Rebecca, a Maronite Lebanese nun, wished to receive the grace of some illness in order to share in Christ's suffering. She finished her life in a state of blindness and complete helplessness. The year of the Lord, 1606, St. Rigius of Mon Mongro Bay. Having, after having been the most important magistrate of Granada, Spain, he was appointed bishop of Lima, Peru. Moved by the sad social and religious situation of the Indians, he systematically began to visit his immense diocese. He did his best to root out abuses and to build churches and hospitals wherever he went. In Spain, the year of grace, 1702, St. Joseph Oyo, thanks to the charitable help of some priests, he was able, despite his modest, modest background, to pursue his studies, obtain a doctoral degree in theology, and receive the priesthood. Assigned to a parish in Barcelona, he lived poorly in an attic. He divided his time between ministering the sacrament of penance and in devoting himself to the most depraved. Elsewhere, the heavenly birth of numerous other saints whose names are inscribed in the Book of Life. 